Hi everyone, so in this video I'm going to go ahead and walk you guys through a step by step of downloading Anki, the best MCAT Anki deck that I found online. I didn't use this deck because I didn't even know Anki existed when I was a pre-med, but I really think that it would help you guys immensely if you guys start using Anki to study for the MCAT, and it'll help you guys get the score you guys want. Quick disclaimer, I am obsessed with Anki, I'm currently a second year medical student, I've been using Anki for a year and a half more now and it has really helped me do well in my courses, do well on exams and I feel like it's going to help me score well on step one. So before we get started I would really appreciate it if you guys subscribed and left a like on this video and left a comment down below if it helped you or it really helps me out. So let's get started. The links to all these pages will be down in the description but the first thing you gotta do is of course download Anki. So if you guys want to skip ahead or anything, I'm going to put timestamps on this video as well if you already have Anki. So basically you just go to AnkiWeb.net. You can download it for Windows, Mac, uh, Linux, and then I think you can actually do it on your phone. Uh, I have an Android so it was free and I think iPhone users have to pay $25. So that's why Android is better than iPhone. But you just download it and you should be able to set up an account like with your email and once you have it all set up it should look something like this you shouldn't really have you shouldn't have any decks uh, in your Anki but that's what we are gonna do next So next you guys are gonna go to the link in the description so the best deck I found by far and had the most upvotes and was recommended to me by a few uh, pre-med users that used the that use Anki for the MCAT was Mile Downs Anki deck. Uh, I don't know this guy, but he is awesome for doing this for you guys. So go ahead and go to this link down in the description. He made an Anki deck, and then he also has a 90 page review sheet, which I haven't seen yet. So I'm gonna see that uh, here live with you guys right now. So the first thing you wanna do is go to this download link. I assume this is his deck. And it might be too large that you, yeah. So you're just gonna have to trust it and download and hope there's not like a virus on here. Uh, I have a good antivirus system. So let's go ahead and download it and see how long it takes. Okay, so that only took a couple of minutes to download, 227 megabytes. Next, what you're gonna do is you are gonna import this into your Anki. So you open up your Anki, you go down here and click on import file. You go to your downloads and here it is. You just click on it, hit open. All right, and there you have it, guys. Mile Downs MCAT deck. So I am actually gonna go in here and let's see. I'm gonna hit browse. You guys can't see this screen. Let me open it up for you guys. All right, so you guys can see this browse thing that I have here. So I'm just gonna hit enter with that. So there are 2,888 cards in this deck as a whole. That is a good amount. Uh, one thing guys, so in medical school, my Zonky Step 1 deck has 30,000 deck, or 30,000 cards. I am already past 50% of it, so 3,000 cards is something I believe you guys can do actually pretty quickly. Alright, so after you hit the little gear button and you hit options, so here you guys can mess with all these settings I ought to watch on King's video on how to mess with these settings okay everybody so here is mild downs Anki deck all loaded up so I'm gonna go ahead and take a look at these cards the bio card uh, fetal hemoglobin has a greater affinity for O2 uh, I really okay this is really good so he has a figure of adult hemoglobin versus fetal hemoglobin and then he has a Khan Academy link to this okay guys yeah this is definitely the deck I would use for the MCAT. It literally has links to when the umbilical artery is deoxygenated and then a Khan Academy link. Yeah, guys. All right. This is definitely the best deck to use if there's links, there's figures. It is like a one word or phrase. Like, I have nothing but good things to say about this deck. Uh, if I had had this when I was studying for the MCAT, holy cow, uh, this would have been awesome. All right, guys, so next thing I wanted to take a look at was he has a 90-page review sheet. It's right here. Uh, you click on this one, takes you to this Google Drive, and I just took a look at it, and holy cow, the organization is beautiful. The colors on all 
this graphs and the periodic table and the chemistry the amino acids like this is amazing uh, I don't know who Mildan was but he did an amazing job for you guys and like honestly this is free stuff online you guys can get this for free completely um, wow I'm just super impressed actually I really wish I would have had this I didn't even know about Anki when I was a pre-med quite honestly so this is actually incredible Wow. Okay, so my biggest suggestion for you guys is if you guys are going to study for uh, for the MCAT or whatever, if you guys go through a certain subject like behavioral biochem, you guys should do like a good content review and then just do the flashcards for that and do them every single day. Don't fall behind in your reviews. Schedule it out so that you have a couple few months to, until you take the MCAT so you get that space repetition content review down. And then on top of that, you guys need, you have to supplement this with practice questions and practice tests. The best practice tests are, without a doubt, the double AMC practice tests. Um, I know, I'm sorry, it's almost like a monopoly, right? Like, they have the best practice tests and practice questions, but it's the most indicative. I don't know exactly what to buy. I do remember I did all the practice tests when I, when I did the MCAT. Right now they have some weird thing that you can't buy them until October 22nd, so that is a really good option. And I'm also obsessed with doing practice questions to learn the material, guys. So if you guys can afford it, the uh, the UWorld MCAT, I didn't use this. Uh, I'm currently using UWorld pretty hard right now for uh, med school, so like the step one question bank. Uh, 180 day access, that is what, like six months. You guys should not need more than six months to study, to study for the MCAT if you use these flashcards, this QBank, and then the double AMC practice tests. $270, I know it's expensive, but I definitely think it would be worth it. Um, and that's basically what this video is all about, guys. So so my number one resources for this would be Mild Downs MCAT Anki Deck. Khan Academy, like all those videos, and then so Mildon also included a 300 page Khan Academy, uh, like psychology review sheet that's been going around the pre med community. I didn't have access to it, it's also really good. So he made flashcards for that whole thing, his review sheets, and then double AMC and U World practice questions, practice question banks, and practice tests are your best bet to score well on the MCAT. So I hope this video helped a lot of you out. Let me know in the comments if you guys have any questions. I'll try to answer them. And yeah, thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe, leave a comment, and I'll see you guys in the next video.